nation is awaiting for the Supreme Court to rule on abortion. They have a self-imposed midnight deadline. And joining us right now live, former Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley with Foley Hogue LLP. And Martha, it's always great to see you. So what do you think is going on with the high court? Well, we know these justices don't agree about much. And given the additional time they gave themselves, I can only think that they're either trying to keep the status quo, in other words, just don't do anything but allow the state to continue, or they may be saying, is there a way for us to take cert on this and bring it up here so we can decide these issues of standing and what the FDA can and can't do, because otherwise they're just going to be having these cases keep bouncing up to them. Right. You know, there's a case in Washington. There's another manufacturer that just sued in Maryland yesterday. So the whole idea was that Dobbs would send this back to the states. And now here we are in federal court with circuit courts of appeal. And, and so they may be trying to decide if there's some way they can take it and put at least some into it. Although I think in the long run, this is always going to be an issue that's going to be litigated. And I think they realize that. Mm. Well, we know after the Dobbs decision, which overturned Roe v. Wade, it looked like the abortion issue was sent back to the states. So what does this mean now when we, we're talking about you know, Mifepristone and what's happening there. I feel like it's opening, you know, a can of worms, especially when it comes to drug, drug manufacturers and the confusion that this could lead to down the road. Sure. Well, it's regulatory chaos right now. It's also legal chaos, but in the short run, and we know because we've heard from a bunch of the farmer folks, pharma folks, pharmacy folks that any drug that's already been approved by the FDA or any drug that's in the pipeline that's being tested could be brought into court to be tested. And so before the Supreme Court is that issue, you know, the, the merits of this particular drug, is it safe or not, which the district court judge decided, one could argue unprecedented and he didn't have the authority to do it. But the Supreme Court could say, there's no standing here, the statute of limitations is run. And by the way, we think the FDA has authority to do this and they should do it. Whether they'll do that in the short run, whether they'll do that at all, uh, we're still guessing. We're once again on a Supreme Court watch and it's really hard to predict no, what no. they're gonna do. Martha, you take, you've done a great job of, of taking us on both sides of the of the line. What, uh, how do you read it? If, the, if you look at the at the crystals here, what do you see? I think that particularly Chief Justice Roberts is going to want to try and create a pathway to some finality. In other words, they've done this once or twice before. They could take this case itself uh, and make some decisions that would avoid this rubber ball bouncing back up and down. If they just allowed the stay, uh, I don't think that solves anything. Um, so it's uh, I, I'm guessing they're trying to find a solution that will uh, let them reach some finality or at least some paths to finality. I hope that's true. Martha Coakley, thank you very much. Great to see you. Good to see you thank both. You.